Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite fragrances that feature the note of orange blossom. I did a video like this sometime last summer, but I wanted to update it because I have new orange blossom fragrances that I've added to this list that I wanna share with you guys. So if you're interested in knowing what orange blossom fragrances are my loves, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so before we get into the fragrances, I just wanna share with you some Orange Blossom body care products that I love using along with my Orange Blossom fragrances. So the first one is a body wash. It's by Dove. It's revitalizing Blue Fig and Orange Blossom. So it's not just Orange Blossom. It has a little bit of that Blue Fig in there, but guys, it smells incredible. Listen, you guys know, I get excited over body washes. I love going to Walmart, Target, Harman's, wherever body washes and body care products are sold and just smelling all the body washes and getting products that I feel like work well in my body care collection, pair well with my fragrances and at a fraction of the cost, okay? Now, one that I splurged on a little bit is by Jo Malone and it's the Orange Blossom. This will always be here, okay? I love this scent. I think this was like $6, maybe five or $6 or maybe $7 because inflation. <laughs> But this, I believe, is like $45. It's a hand and body wash. You can leave it in your guest bathroom if you wanted to. You can shower with it if you want to. I don't just shower with this. This is like for the scent only. You know what I mean? I don't know how clean I'm going to get with this one right here. That's why I love layering my body care products. And I use like bar soap, use my Dove, my Olay, whatever. But I definitely love using this as well just for the scent. So if you guys love the scent of orange blossom, then you need this. This smells like a beautiful orange blossom scent. I'm not going to lie to you. It smells like, and <laughs> this is in a good way, okay? You know how sometimes things smell like something that would not usually smell good to you, but it still smells good anyway? Like this kind of smells plasticky, but in a good way. Does that make any sense? It smells plasticky, but it smells like orange blossom and I love it. Now we have the body cream. This is the Orange Blossom Body Cream. I told you guys before that I do love the scent of the Jo Malone creams. The consistency is not my favorite because it takes a while to rub into your skin and I'll demonstrate it to you. I just wanna be super transparent with you guys because I don't want you to get it and it's like, you know, but just know that the scent is there. The scent lingers forever, but it's not a cream that melts into my skin. Like I have to work it in. Okay, see now you're showing off. The only reason why it just melted into my skin is because I already have oil on. So if I do oil and then, which I do that anyway, like I put oil first and then my body cream, then it'll just melt into the skin. But if you're someone that just puts body cream first and then oil, you're gonna have to work it in a little bit more but now it just like blended into my skin. Now you showing off, but I'm telling you guys, it's not a bad consistency, but it's not one of my favorites, but I do love the body creams and I will always have them from Jo Malone. I just wanna be very transparent with you guys and let you know that it's not one that just blends and just like, you know, works into the skin on its own naturally all the time. Cause now you wanna show out. Now you wanna embarrass me. So guys, let's get into the fragrances. So the first fragrance that we are going to start with is one of my favorite fragrances by Killian and it's Love Don't Be Shy. Guys, if you know this channel, you already know I'm obsessed with this fragrance. Killian is actually one of my favorite fragrance houses. I don't speak about the fragrances all the time, but just know that I have about 12 or 13 Killian fragrances and I'm obsessed, okay? love this this was my first one like my first love with Killian I got this fragrance because everybody was saying and not on YouTube I got this fragrance long before YouTube um everyone in the industry was saying how Rihanna always smelled good like she's definitely known for smelling good and this was the fragrance that she was known for wearing I don't know if she wore it all the time or she may have wore it once or 
I don't know. I've never seen an article with her even mentioning this fragrance, but for some reason, she's tied to this fragrance for life. Like, Love Don't Be Shy and Rihanna go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly. So I was like, okay, Rihanna smells good. She's known for smelling good. And I always want to be known for smelling good as well. So I went out and got Love Don't Be Shy. So as you can see, this is the black bottle. They no longer make the black bottle. This juice, the juice of mine is kind of like, it's almost like red. It's a really deep salmon color. But I heard that the juice in the white bottle will change after a while. It'll get um, deeper. But I mean, I can't speak to that. But I have heard from other people that the one in the white bottle doesn't last that long. This one lasts forever. This one is super sweet. It's projecting. It's loud. I have no issues with this fragrance right here, guys. It smells so good. The orange blossom in this fragrance is front and center. It smells so good. It's so super sexy. It's very, very sweet, okay? You can get a cavity just by smelling this fragrance. <laughs> it opens up with bergamot. There's pink pepper, coriander, neroli. There's um, jasmine. There's honeysuckle, orange blossom, Bulgarian rose, iris, caramelized sugar, vanilla. Listen, beautiful scent, guys. Like I said, it's sweet. So if you know you don't love sweet fragrances, then run from this one right here because this one is very, very sweet and I love it. And if you love orange blossom, then you need this. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Next up, we have Memo Centra. So this fragrance has orange blossom, pedigree, and neroli, and they're all from the same tree. Now, typically, I'm not a fan of pedigree. Okay, I've smelled some fragrances with pedigree and it was a no for me. I have two or three fragrances. The other one is on this list that has pedigree in it in the opening. And I absolutely love these two fragrances. Guys, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about the pedigree in this fragrance. It doesn't bother me. I know that some people have smelled it and that pedigree in the opening has been off-putting to them. But for me, guys, it just adds an extra layer of depth to this fragrance that Love Don't Be Shy does not have because it is very similar to Love Don't Be Shy. So this has neroli, pedigree, there's jasmine, there's milk, there's cinnamon, marshmallow, there's um, caramel, musk, cedar. I'm telling you guys, this has a lot of notes. This fragrance lasts forever on my skin. When I tell you, I get compliments with this fragrance. It's a beast mode fragrance. And I feel like it's that neroli and pedigree in the opening that's really carrying the life of this fragrance. This smells so good, guys. Like I said, it's very similar. Not very, but it is type similar to Love Don't Be Shy. So if you like that scent profile, you'll love this as well. But it does have that greenness in the beginning from the pedigree and the neroli. But when it dries down, guys, it dries down to a sweet, marshmallowy, orange blossom, just beautiful beast okay very long lasting like i said you get compliments well i get compliments when i'm wearing this fragrance i don't wear it running errands or running to the supermarket or anything like that this is me being dressed up or being intentional in pulling my fragrance it's not an easy reach fragrance for me i have to be in the mood for this fragrance or whatever i'm wearing is the same type of vibe you know what i mean this one right here is very powerful like this is the older more sophisticated is she more sophisticated she may be more raunchy this the older, more raunchy cousin of Love Don't Be Shy. Okay, like she's out here. She, <laughs> she is dropping it low and spreading it wide. Or what, <laughs> what did Evelyn um, Tamar's mother say? Dropping it low and spreading it wide, honey. Listen, Sintra is no joke. She's a beast. She's very long lasting, compliment getting. I absolutely love it, guys. So if you love Orange Blossom, but you know, you can get past the scent of Neroli and Pedigree, then you need this. Sintra by Memo. The next fragrance on the list is by the House of Siage, and this is Benevolence. And guys, can you see my dent? Clearly, I love this fragrance. Let me turn it upside down and show you. And I have a travel size of this, so this has not been decanted. This is just me spraying. Like, I just love this fragrance so much. Now, when I tell y'all I love a certain scent profile, I ain't lying. Because Benevolence... Centra by Memo and Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, they all have the same type of scent profile. Very sweet, vanilla, orange blossom fragrances. And I mean, I don't have any qualms about it. I like what I like. I love what I love. It is what it is. <laughs> so this one opens up with almond oil. There's bergamot. There's orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, and sugar. It's sweet and warm. Another one that lasts long. Although they're similar, guys, I can smell the difference. There's a subtle difference. 
I can definitely smell the difference. And as you can see, I mean, I love it. Like the proof is in the dent. It's a sweet vanilla sugared orange blossom and I'm obsessed. Benevolence by the House of Siage. Next on the list is Athalia by Parfums de Marly. She's like the black sheep of the family. <laughs> She doesn't get as much love as Delina and them. She doesn't get as much love as Oriana. Not even Casilli, okay? She's definitely the black sheep of the family, but she's beautiful, okay? If you love orange blossom, but a powdery orange blossom, then you will love this fragrance. It lasts long on my skin. Guys, this is a beautiful scent, and I don't know why people don't really talk about her, but she's pretty. Like, she's so beautiful. If you love orange blossom, then you need this. It opens up with orange blossom. There's iris, white musk, and amber. Like I said, it's powdery. Like when I smell this, I just smell powder and orange blossom. That's what I smell to my nose. Someone else might get something, you know, different or something else. But for me, it's a powdery orange blossom scent and I'm obsessed. If it's available, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Get Athalia, y'all. She is not bad. She is not like, I don't know why they done casted her out of the family because Delina and them is just like they've taken over the world. You know what I mean? But Athalia is nothing to be played with, okay? She's a beautiful powdery orange blossom scent, like I said. And if you love orange blossom, you need this. Next on the list by Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line is Passiflora. I told you guys, out of my entire Aqua Allegoria collection, this is my most complimented one. I am obsessed with this scent. Y'all, when I tell you, like, I can drink this, this smells so good, okay? It's just something about this fragrance that I'm just completely obsessed with. It opens up with lemon, there's grapefruit, bergamot, ylang ylang, and orange blossom in the base. Guys, when I tell you, this fragrance right here is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection. My most complimented aqua allegoria, period. This smells so good, guys. I can literally sit here the whole time like this. It smells like a drink. It smells like something you want to drink. Like, honestly, now I want to go to brunch. <laughs> I want to go to lunch. I want to drink something that smells like this. This is incredible. I'm telling you guys, it's not that easy to find. I will try to link it, okay? I'll try to link it for you, whether it's a site that I shop from or not. If I can find it on a site like fragrance net or any of those sites i will link it for you guys but just know this is incredible i absolutely love it passiflora by guerlain's aqua allegoria line next on the list by valentino we have voce viva intensa guys this fragrance was not on my list it was not on my to try list it was not on a wish list this was <laughs> Uh, I'm walking in Sephora. They're having a VIB sale. I'm Rouge, so I was going to get 20% off. So let me smell some fragrances and see what I could buy. That's what this purchase was. And when I smelled this, I was like, you know what? I can place this in my life for home. Like, this is a home fragrance for me. It's a bedtime fragrance for me. It's something that I can overspray, get my life. I purchased a very small bottle, but I love orange blossom and it smells like orange blossom. So as soon as I smelled it, and I was able to smell the orange blossom. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this fragrance. Like I said, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing that was on a wish list or anything like that. But it is a very pretty scent. It opens up with mandarin orange. And I love mandarin orange, guys. Then there's bergamot, orange blossom, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, and moss. It's not a fragrance that I'm going to wear to brunch. It's not a fragrance that I'm going to wear on a date night. But it is still a pretty fragrance. And I have places in my life for fragrances like this. Like I said, running errands being home, going to bed, just wanting to be sweet smelling at home. You know what I mean? I just took a shower, put on some cute pajamas or some cute house clothes, spray down with a fragrance like this and get my life. And it smells like orange blossom, which is one of my favorite white florals. Voce Viva Intensa by Valentino. The next fragrance on the list is by Givenchy and it's Leon Chadit. And this is the original Leon Chadit, guys. So let me tell y'all, earlier this year, I had her on a list of fragrances that I would never repurchase, okay? Not that I was going to declutter them, but I just would never repurchase them. I had to since apologize to the good girl because I would repurchase her. <laughs> this is a beautiful scent, guys. I think at the time, I was just going through a tuberose meltdown. Like, I just had so many tuberose fragrances in my collection. I was just like, okay, I love you, love you. I wouldn't repurchase you. And like, I was trying to just like, go through my fragrances it was the beginning of the year you know how we do new year new me new year new fragrances 
<laughs> I was at that phase. But guys, I wore this fragrance. I want to say like two weeks after that, I used it. And it was like, see what had happened was, girl, listen, this is a beautiful scent. Okay, I will repurchase this scent. This is a tuberose scent, but it also has orange blossom. So if you love tuberose and orange blossom, the combination of the two is so beautiful. And in this fragrance, it is incredible. Okay, guys, it opens up with orange blossom. There's jasmine, tuberose, vetiver, and patchouli. It's very classy and elegant, but still sexy at the same time. It lasts long, it projects. I get compliments on this fragrance. Guys, in the bottle, look how sleek and beautiful the bottle is. I will definitely repurchase this fragrance. I'm so sorry, girl. We, we cool now though, right? Okay, cool. So Givenchy Lirantra Deep. If you love orange blossom and tuberose, then you need this. Next on the list by YSL, we have Libre, and this is the original Libre, guys. It's the bottle for me. I mean, this is one of my favorite bottles in my collection. It's so sleek. I mean, the bottle is everything, guys. Now, the fragrance is everything as well. I don't wear it too much. That's why the dent isn't that significant. I do have a dent, but I don't wear it as much as my other fragrances, but I love it. This is one of the only fragrances I have in my collection that has a lavender note that I do not mind. Because if you guys know anything about me, I'm not a fan of lavender. Not even for self-care. Like, I don't want to smell lavender going to bed. I don't, I don't like the lavender scent. It reminds me of household cleaning so and i just don't like how it works on my body chemistry but in this fragrance it's so beautiful guys lavender and orange blossom absolutely love it so it opens up with mandarin orange again there's lavender black currant there's pedigree in this fragrance there's jasmine lavender again child they was giving you all the lavender in here there's orange blossom there's vanilla cedar ambergris and musk i also have the um the intense version of this and i love it but that one smells of more vanilla you do smell the orange blossom but you smell vanilla a lot in that fragrance as well this one right here i've heard women say it's unisex or it leans masculine i'm not sure about that i just love how it smells it smells classy it smells sophisticated it's nothing that i wear when i want to be sexy you know what i mean like the bottle is super sleek and sexy but the scent isn't really sexy to me but i love it it just smells so good it smells incredible guys i love it it smells rich it doesn't smell like a designer fragrance to me, in my opinion. Most people prefer the intense version because of that vanilla. So obviously, you know, the vanilla stands out more in that fragrance. But this smells super classy to me, super rich, super expensive. It doesn't smell like a designer scent. The bottle is everything. And you definitely smell that crisp orange blossom with the mandarin orange and the lavender just all like, it just works in this fragrance, guys. I don't wear it that often, like I said, but I love it and I will always have it in my collection. YSL Libre, the original. Next up by Killian, we have Do It For Love. And guys, look at this bottle. How gorgeous is the lips on this bottle? I just love it. So this is the other fragrance that I was telling you about that features Orange Blossom, Pedigree, and Neroli. So this one is another green fragrance. It smells similar to Love Don't Be Shy, but more green. So this has Pedigree, Bergamot, Neroli, Orange Blossom, Jasmine, and Vetiver. If you love green, fresh scents, it's not super sweet. It's not overpowering. You can wear this in the summertime. You can wear this, I feel like, you can wear this all year round. This isn't just a summer scent, but you can definitely wear it in the summertime because it does have that green, fresh nature to it. But it smells like love, don't be shy, but a green, fresh love, don't be shy, if that makes any sense. I absolutely love it. It's only available on the Killian website and I believe Bergdorf Goodman, so I will link it for you guys. Um, but I just love it. It's one to have if you're a Killian collector and you love that scent profile, if you love Pedigree and Neroli, then you need this, guys. Do It For Love by Killian. Next up by Creed, we have Windflowers. And guys, I feel like this has been in almost every video that I did as of late. She was in a peach video. She was in a, I think I put her in a most complimented video. Um, she was just in a lot of videos. But so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on her, okay? But just know that if you love peach and if you love orange blossom, then you will love this fragrance. This opens up with jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's peach, there's jasmine again, there's tuberose in this fragrance, there's rose, there's musk, there's pralines, orange blossom again, iris, and sandalwood. I don't get any powderiness from this fragrance. I definitely get peach and orange blossom and I love it. And it dries down so super sweet on my skin. Now, when I got the notes from Fragrantica, brown sugar isn't listed. It just says praline. 
but in the Creed store, we went to the Creed boutique on Madison Avenue. Initially, when I was gonna buy this fragrance, we didn't buy it that day. We ended up buying it from Neiman Marcus, but when I smelled it in the Creed boutique, we were shopping one day and we went to the Creed boutique when this came out and we smelled it and Bay loved it on me like at first sniff. The sales associate at the store told us that there's brown sugar in this fragrance. But on Fragrantica, it doesn't list the brown sugar. It just says praline. So, but I feel like there is brown sugar in here because it's so super sweet in a dry down. Like this dries down very sweet on me. I know pralines are sweet, but I feel like it's that extra added praline and brown sugar that's drying down so sweet. But if you love peach, if you love orange blossom, if you love a sweet, more intense type fragrance, then Windflowers is for you. If it's available, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20. Windflowers by Creed. The last fragrance on the list is by Kriegler and it's English Promenade number 19. Guys, this fragrance is very expensive. I wasn't gonna put it on the list because it's very, very pricey. Even the samples are pricey. Someone told me that the sample was like $50 or $70. Like what? That's like almost a bottle of perfume, like from Macy's, you know what I mean? But it's well worth it, guys. These are very expensive, luxury, high, high-end fragrances and they're just incredible you can't get them on the gray market you cannot get them on like fragrance net or any of the discounted sites they're only available on the kriegler website or at the four seasons you can find them in some um plaza hotels as well in new york at the four seasons you can find them online any of your ritzy expensive areas you can find kriegler now like I said, they're very pricey, but in my opinion, they're worth it. I have two fragrances in my collection. I have English Promenade number 19, and I have Abracadabra, and I love them both. This one was Audrey Hepburn's signature scent. When I was told that, I was sold. First of all, I smelled it, and I was sold. And then they told me Audrey Hepburn used to wear this, but it doesn't smell dated. It doesn't smell old. It still smells modern. Like, this is so beautiful to me, guys. It smells so regal, so classy. It smells like money. I mean, it should because it costs a lot of money. Look at this, guys. Like, and, and I got the big bottle. I should have got the little bottle, but I got the big bottle because I just love how it smells. So it opens up with grapefruit. There's jasmine and neroli, orange blossom, white flowers, white musk, and ylang ylang. Nothing, you know, exotic with the notes. It's very simple, but guys, it smells incredible. Like I said, it smells rich. It smells like money. It smells classy and sophisticated. And if you love the scent of orange blossom, okay? If you love Neroli, orange blossom, pedigree, you will love this type of fragrance. I'm telling you guys, it's very long lasting. It's not like a beast mode that's going to um, announce your presence, you know what I mean? But people will smell you and it lasts forever. For the price, it better. Okay, English Promenade number 19 by Kriegler. Okay, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite orange blossom fragrances. There's so many fragrances in my collection that feature the note of orange blossom, but they don't smell like orange blossom fragrances. You know what I mean? Like these fragrances here, you actually smell the orange blossom. And if you love that scent, then any fragrance that I spoke about today will be the one for you. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe. Be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.